<laughs> oh my gosh, we finally got it. It finally happened. I don't know why it happened, but it finally did. Okay, so for those of you who are just trying to catch up, or you're, you probably know more than we do, uh, so something kind of wild happened. Tomorrow, we were supposed to get the uh, grand premiere of the GTA 6 trailer, but lo and behold, Rockstar Games has decided to bless us with the trailer a day early, and we here at GTFM wanted to bring it to you. So I think it's time. Let's just, you know what? I'm done talking. Let's just watch the trailer one more time. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, man. Lucia confirmed. And again, right away, we just see Vice City. We see the beaches of Vice City. Airboat! Airboat flamingos! Wow! I mean, one of the things that... Uh, I mean, hold on. Let's just... We'll keep going. We're going to watch this multiple times. We got our nightclub scene. It's popping off. It seems like the influencer status kind of thing is going to be pretty prominent. YouTubers, TikTok stars, challenge videos. Alligator or is it a crocodile? I always forget. Gators, that's all you need. It seems like there's car stunts too where you can kind of like ghost ride the whip. Look who's back. The only way we're going to get through this is by sticking together. And we got Jason and Lucia in a kind of Bonnie and Clyde-like situation. Trust it. Kind of seems like they're romantically involved. And there you have it. Pe people were wondering if it would be called GTA 6 at all, but sure enough, Kimber. it is. They're keeping it simple. So I think, we'll, let's just get right into it. Uh, Alan, first thoughts. Uh, gorgeous game, uh, 2025? 2025, I I mean, I, I, we shouldn't be surprised, right? It's something that, it's it's gonna be the thing that is like prominent in the gaming industry for the foreseeable future. So, you know, it's been in development for 10 plus years since presumably the launch of GTA 5 back in 2013. So 10 years later, gotta wait two years later more. Is that really all that bad? <laughs> well, this has just been the way, you know, Rockstar has always done their releases. You know, you we get, this is the vibe trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay, this mm -hmm. is just to set the tone. You know, none of that is gameplay. You know, it's a right. cinematic right. trailer. Yeah. So we don't know what the game is gonna necessarily entail down to the nitty gritty. We, we but we're all those, we're, we're the treasure hunters, right? We're picking out from a, a ton of social media. Social media has emphasized huge in that trailer, mm -hmm. probably way more than I would have expected. Most of the, the footage in that trailer comes from a phone and with right. comments and stuff. So how is that gonna play into the larger pick? We don't know, but we always get this massive trailer drop with a huge window until their actual release. And it's, it's always been the case. So I didn't expect anything different. No, and I, I totally buy what you're saying as far as setting the tone and getting a feel for what is the kind of thesis statement of the game. And it is very obviously like a Bonnie and Clyde style thing that has been rumored for a long time. We see our two protagonists, Jason and Lucia, who realize by the end of the trailer that in order to succeed, they are going to need to stick together uh, to pull this off. And, you know, looking back at previous games that have tapped into social media, look at Spider-Man, right? The original mm -hmm. Spider, Marvel Spider-Man for PS4, now PS5. Social media was how you would get missions and whatnot. So I'm curious to see how Rockstar taps into the kind of social media as a mission infrastructure. Maybe it's how you meet some of the wild encounters in GTA. Maybe a lot of these, uh, like, wild encounters that you would see in Red Dead Redemption 2 are facilitated via, hey, I saw a dude right, ghost right in the whip next to a gator down, <laughs> down in the beach. Yeah, let me go check it out. Let's see what's going on down there. But uh, yeah, let's, I think, get back into the trailer and maybe yeah. take it slower. Let's go frame by frame, scene by scene, and see what we've got. So starting up top, of course, may contain inappropriate content. <laughs> I think right away yeah. from the get-go, our establishing shot <laughs> yeah. of... Uh, Vice City. Uh, yeah. We got our freeways. We got a little swamp like lagoon, a lagoon going about, and looks like some smokestacks. Prison yard. So Lucia starting off in a prison yard. The cinematics. Okay. 
right from the get-go, this is very much in the vein of Red Dead Redemption 2 cinematics. Like, Absolutely. This looks stunning. Mm -hmm. uh, keep going. <laughs> Jeez, there's so <laughs> much to see right, right now. Yeah, of course you get like just like really classic looks that you know that sort of like Miami, like very like Florida vibes. I mean the 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 airboat especially just like it feels you know like I'm so excited to try it out. Man. Back like, in our first episode of GTFM, I commented that I wanted to see airboats, so I'm happy that that got confirmed right away. <laughs> That's the one I, thing you wanted. I, I did believe some people also some someone also made the mention of flamingos, which that again, was the one thing I wanted. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing I was hoping to see with GTA 6 is the implementation of more wildlife into the main story mode because, uh, or into the game overall. And uh, recently, just released an update that added the uh, animal system into GTA Online. So I'm wondering if this is kind of a holdover or a natural progression of that. And I'm hoping we can hunt these things. No offense, flamingos. <laughs> we got sports boats just outside the shipping yard. Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be like some activities like racing, you know, these like speed boats and getting some like high scores. I'm, I know online is going to go crazy with that too. Yeah, and one thing I believe we have a kind of detailed look at um, like time coded via um, time coded notes for this trailer that we're going to try and get pulled up on here because I don't want to cut away from the trailer and show you anything that's not the trailer just because this is really all we're talking about right now, but. see who else what else we got again the nightclub culture biplanes i mean just look at all the like dense island masses that are just off the freeway like i don't think we've ever really seen any like anything like this in a gta game but even just showing all those different settings like you know one of the big speculations we'll get is how big will this map be overall after what we've previously got in you know gta 5 we're seeing so many different environments that it's gonna, it's gotta be huge. And, and I'm no Florida native, so please correct me if I'm wrong, our Florida man off camera, but I'm being told this is like a Florida Keys adjacent look. Yeah, it's exactly like the Florida Keys. It's Florida, Florida Keys, Keys confirmed. <laughs> we have, again, back to the influencer style culture, people uh, posing to cam. Again, this is the stuff that's ripe for satire from Rockstar Games. They're known for uh, lambasting American culture, and I can't think of a better time to do it than, you know, the year 2023 where <laughs> our phones reign supreme and everyone does it for the vine, uh, please excuse my dated. <laughs> yeah, right? the like, hey. vine. <laughs> <laughs> but see, look, official poach. Stay alert, VC. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. Is this a potential free roaming mission that we can just go gator hunting or like stop wildlife yeah. from killing people? You like become a part of animal control? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta. Someone call the Department yeah. of Transport on this dump <laughs> right. truck. <laughs> Hashtag have a vice day. I love it. Again, we have again the yeah, night, car meets. the night midnight club style car scene. TikTok live streams. Great Gator. Yeah, also, game. this is kind of nuts, the police cam stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure this is very obviously a cinematic, but seeing something like this with the kind of um, body camera stuff, it, it kind of lends that uh, more gritty uh, film realism that we see from something like a Michael Mann movie. And obviously, uh, Miami Vice is a 2008 Michael Mann movie that came out uh, well before GTA 5 did. But looking back now, Rockstar has been known to pull from film references. So yeah. this feels right at home with something like uh, Miami Vice. So, and it, I mean, it's called Vice City for crying out loud. <laughs> Usually uh, got to hit the strip club so, to see Jiggle like that, for real. <laughs> something that I did notice is a Leonida keeps popping up in a lot of these, uh, like, live streams or social media posts. So I wonder if that's, like, one of the suburbs we can, that we get to explore, or like, a, a region. Man. Yeah. I believe, if I recall correctly, when we were taking a look at that speculative map, um, I believe that was the central lake in the landmass. I might be mistaken. I might be twisting my facts around, but that, that name does sound familiar. 
Let's see what this. Only yeah. in Leonida is a crotch grab and apology for bad driving. <laughs> and again, already introduced to different types of people and different people who are kind of native to different areas of vice. So, so Leonida would be the state then? Is that what we're saying? So Leonida, uh, instead, it's not Florida, it's Leonida. Uh, I think, yeah, I think so. It would at least be that region uh, of that you know, area, that, area that. that you'd be able to explore. Also, how good of a username is General Custard Cannon? I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah, nobody does it like yeah, Rockstar. It doesn't uh, really one, one I like it a lot. One thing to pay, <laughs> I think, special note to is the weather effects. I think there was a lot of speculation on whether or not there would be a sort of dynamic weather system in the game, whether it be volumetric clouds that we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I mean, Re Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of innovated in its dynamic weather system. And based on what we're seeing here, this is looking like we're on the uh, cusp of a hurricane. So it's like a hard cut from bright and sunny to, you know, stormy weather. So, hey, for all those hurricane heisters out there, there's still hope. <laughs> <laughs> And again, again, this scenes like this remind me so much of like Just Cause, where you're hopping on top of <laughs> yeah. your car and doing like stunts. So I wonder if there is like a sort of notoriety feature where, based on the crazy stuff that you do in the game, whether that gives you more followers, maybe on whatever version of TikTok this is. But R R I P Rudy, see you in heaven, cuz. And then this scene right after uh, the, this man in uh, that's the let's, let's really unpack this scene though. Yeah. I, I wanna I wanna take a look at this man. Uh, Ma man's really? got is are those high tops? Rockin high top shoes? High tops with the high yeah. socks. With a nice visor. Rocking the thong, getting a clean tan yeah. overall, and the visor. But what's he watering? It looks just like dead grass already. <laughs> Jamie, can you confirm that people water their grass for no reason in Florida? Okay, he is saying confirm they water their grass for no reason. Yeah. Uh, this next scene is my favorite, Thrill Billy Mud Club. It Thrill just looks like <laughs> such on. a fun time. I like the, my, my man in the background, just like ha beer in hand, ready to go. He's, he's about to jump into that role. I'd like to actually set an entire Rewind Theater and unpack why you like Thrill Billy Mud Club, but I don't think we have enough time to get that. But one thing to confirm, monster trucks. Yes. Monster trucks that, I mean, I, monster trucks rule, plain and simple. I don't know much about cars, but I do know sure. if you put the words monster and truck together in a sentence, you're gonna have a good I'm time. gonna pay attention. Oh yeah. So maybe this is another like a faction or like a, a thing that we can do quests for. Maybe it's like an off-roading uh, like club of some sort, right? Uh, Lucha Libra fan, Neighborhood Watch, don't play around in Hamlet. So the, Hamlet. She's dual wielding yeah, right now too. Yeah, dual hammers. Wait, what did she Ooh. say? Guess who's back? <laughs> Hold on, sorry. I, 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 there's so much information here. I gotta, I gotta unpack this frame by frame. Look who's back. Look, Look who's, who's back. back. <laughs> now, I, I forget the name, so pardon the, pardon my uh, excuse for not figuring out who this was. But there is a YouTuber who is known to jump through various hurdles and hurt themselves on giant tables full of dangerous objects. So once oh, yeah. again, this feels ripe for parody <laughs> so you think that's a and Rockstar <laughs> has, it does not hesitate. Yeah, I like the, the billboard uh, that we see very briefly. It just says, it cures emotions. But it's what like, is it? It yeah, cures it? emotions. Just barely off the side, uh, right as we see those uh, those Angstapan. Angstapan, which is obviously some sort of drug. Angstapan. Angst. Angst. Because it oh, cures emotions. That makes sense. But it looks like Jason and Lucia are running from the cops. Maybe they just finished some sort of getaway, and now they're on the outs the um, cusp of escaping sure. from whatever wanted level. And obviously cinematic. Yeah. And here we get, have the return of Weasel News. Weasel News. Oh, remind me about this. I'm not familiar. So Where Weasel, Weasel News, News was a uh, GTA 5, I believe. Uh, the, Sounds about right. So. And yeah, Weasel News was uh, the paparazzi uh, missions in GTA V ah. that you would go, go ahead, or also in uh, Liberty City Stories. Um, it, yeah, I just, I'm glad that they, they brought it back. And also, they have uh, an overturned car uh, after a Pee Wee's Dine and Dash, which is, in my opinion, a pretty small thing to do for a, for a car getting turned over. So you think there's more to the story, right? I mean, obviously. And it looks like to. they are pulling somebody out of the wreckage of the car. So whether or not maybe this is tied to Jason and Lucia's quest, who knows? And then we got Mega Noticias over here, uh, obviously leaning into the like very uh, Cuban and, and Latino culture from Florida. It says, Confesión escrita en tinta para tatuajes, which is uh, the confession was written in ink for tattoos. 
So I guess this guy had a tattoo on his neck that uh, ended up confessing that he did the crime, uh, which is, this is a, a Leonida man, which I wonder if that's going to be uh, the, the new Florida man uh, one-to-one. Oh, one. yeah, Leonida man. Now, now Ben, what do you, what, what's your first thought when you see this man in, on the news? What what's my do? first thought? What you do? Um, well, I think Jared Leto's Joker has really taken a turn. <laughs> I 100% <laughs> think this character was based on Jared Leto's Joker. 100%. He has impenitent written across his forehead. Incredible. <laughs> again, bike tricks once again. It looks like there's ATVs as well. There's probably trikes, right? Dirt bike. Dirt bags. Cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. We also do see uh, mental patient wins Vice City Marathon. So oh. I wonder if there's going to be some sort of activities like the triathlons in GTA 5 where you get to oh, do marathons. Oh, yeah, some sort of athletic sort uh -huh. of thing. It also says, Leonida man sucked up in water spout demands the city <laughs> buy him a new suit. <laughs> so there's definitely still leaning into the zany zaniness of the okay. GTA universe. Now, what's this? High rollers lifestyle. And so, it says, his, his shirt says something ops. This is just a, a stretch for me, but whenever I see ops, I always think of like black ops. Mm. So I wonder if it's some sort of like play on uh, graphic for that or something along those lines. Slaughter? slaughter? Yeah, it, it's slaughter. slaughter, righteous slaughter. I don't know what the rest is. Good ops, Good food ops. ops, I don't know. Yeah. But in addition to that, like it's called high rollers lifestyle, right? So that implies there is some sort of car customization, some sort of tuning, yeah. pip out my ride style uh, affair here. So that looks cool. Also, if you look very closely in the background, who hurt you? It looks like another like lawyer style <laughs> yeah, accident insurance sort of thing going on. Oh, is this a radio station? Sound for sound? Potentially in the back right of the uh, car window. And here it seems like yeah, some sort of uh, heist for a uh, for a store, and then of course their very intimate moment, making sure that they trust each other. And, and then that, that shot just—that's the amazing. hero shot, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Now, now, Ben, as far as like what we've seen, very obviously very little sure. of Jason and Lucia's quest here. But do you envision that these robberies are going to be relegated to just? main story mission style things, or do you think it's gonna be something dynamic that we can pull off uh, over the course of the game multiple times to our heart's content? Well, un yeah, unlike GTA V where, you know, the heist kind of, it was about the building up, it was about the right. planning. The setup. Yeah, and so but the way they're positioning these two, I mean, this is just uh, an opportunity rob, right? So mm -hmm. they're just busting in and trying to, you know, hold this place up to just grab quick cash. That's no setup. That, that leads itself to making sure that what we're getting in the story, that it is more dynamic. Uh, I'm curious if they, obviously, if they are a Bonnie and Clyde type, clearly their wanted level is never dropping below three the entire game. <laughs> it's going to make it quite tricky. Well, one of the things, I'm glad you brought that up, because that, I, I hate to keep bringing up Red Dead Redemption 2, but it feels like that's our closest analog to this. If we notice in this scene, if we notice in this scene right here, they do have their, um, you know, bandanas covering their face, and Red Dead did make note of having a sort of confidentiality system where you can kind of uh, cover up yourself before you commit a crime so that you can, once you get out of the crime area, take off your bandana. It's like, hey, look, I'm a new guy. I'm a, I'm a normal person. So I feel like that system didn't particularly work great. So I'm hoping that that, as you said, that way they're not always on the run. They're not at an always mandatory five stars. That you can kind of be clever about how you disguise your identity in order to continue to go about living your life. And it's very interesting, you know, especially when we're seeing all the emphasis on social media and news cameras and everything capturing all these different crazy moments how much the gameplay will, when, when it comes to being wanted, mm -hmm. was like, okay, you were caught on camera. Because remember, Red Dead was all witnesses. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, okay, you were caught on camera, so you can't be in this area for this long. You have to change your hairstyle. You've got, I don't know how much they're gonna grow that from previous GTA games in changing, you know, downing your wanted level. Or maybe legitimately, there'll be large chunks of the game you have to be super careful when you're, when you're venturing out there because you are wanted, you are on the run. I'm 100%. so excited for the apology video mini games to bring your <laughs> yeah. notoriety levels down. It just comes with the sweet. default template of the, <laughs> the pink and blue background that Rockstar dropped. <laughs> exactly. Just write whatever apology you want. Before we watch the trailer, again, because I'm already dying to watch it, I just wanted to quickly point out that in the liquor store, we do see an advertisement uh, as a callback to, I think GTA 4 and 5, we have the, the 
the Pisswasser beer, <laughs> which is a, a, a common refrain in the GTA universe of a beer. Uh, but enough talk. I want to watch the trailer one more time. All right, let's go ahead and cue that bad boy up. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Sticking together, being a team. <laughs> Trust? Trust. Years from now, but really. 2023 is almost over, so I guess it's just <laughs> like one more year, right? Yeah, and then you now, have birthdays if, if you, and other holidays. I mean, we're basically in 2025 now. If you had to make a prediction, where in 2025 would you expect the game to actually be available, Four. at least to PC players? To Four. PC <laughs> players? I don't think this game is coming to PC at launch. You don't think I, it's coming Rockstar to PC has launch. never had a cadence of releasing a game day and day on PC. It's always released for current hardware with the PC version coming uh, later uh, on. Usually a year later. Um, I'll just keep the, the trailer on so you have something good to look at while we're chatting. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, that, not that we're not good to look at, but you know. I think GTA 6 probably takes a little bit more of a precedent. Absolutely. Um, and then also, what do you think are the minimum specs to be able to run this? Is this going to be exclusively a, a current gen game? I think it, that it, it has to be, right? I it's think that this cool. is going yes. to run on current hardware. I think uh, PlayStation 6, Xbox Series X, I would imagine that it's going to be quality mode only where it, where it prioritizes resolution. And I'm going to say it, unfortunately, I'm calling it right now. I think it's going to be 30 frames a second at con on console. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that happening. Um, so, how do you think it's actually going to run on like? Because we've seen issues with like, let's say, like Baldur's Gate running on like a Series S. Mm -hmm. How difficult do you think it'll be to actually be able to run something that looks this, you know, this detail and this this high quality on something that maybe isn't quite up to snuff with the other uh, current uh, gen consoles? Y you know, it is tricky because you know Series S is uh, definitely something that is starting to. <sighs> caused some concern from players all over the world as far as uh, it feels like it's a compromised vision of the game or a compromised version of the game. But I would assume it's just going to run at like 1440p at most. Um, but yeah, I, I think for unfortunately for console players, I think we are going to be stuck at 30 frames a second here. Uh, I, what if, I don't know, Ben. What do you think? Does that matter for GTA? No, I'm going to be I'm going to be a little bit more optimistic. I mean, they've been working on this for, you know, well, we haven't got a last one for a, like a, over a decade, so. I think they're probably going to shoot for something a little bit more ambitious. I think it's just come to we've come to expect that these new generations of games that you know 60 is almost the default. It's not always going to be here, mm -hmm. but there, there's an expectation. This is and will be m the biggest piece of entertainment of all time, and so they will shoot for 60, whether or not they get there. But I think that's what they're going to prioritize, just out of pure like this is where we are in the world. This is they've had a ton of time. They've learned a ton of uh, lessons from their previous releases. I think, I think they're gonna go big. Because, um, I mean, even looking at this cinematic, this isn't the best looking cinematic we get nowadays. So I think this is closer to in-game, you know, what the in-game will look like. It's not in-game, but it's looks, it is definitely closer than a lot of the other cinematics we get. And so I think this is what we should expect. Almost 
Exactly. Almost exactly. Real, I, I, Thanks, guys. I, I, don't, I don't think there's any way, shape, and form that 90% of this footage is what we get in the final game. I think there are sets, there's cutscenes that are present here, like Jason and Lucia. That leads into a story mission. I think this is just like trailer footage, right? Here. Yeah. Yeah, but I think we'll get a lot of those where the cinematic blends straight into the gameplay. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think we will see. It's not going to be exact, obviously, when you make that transition to gameplay. Mm -hmm. But just like we have with the Un Uncharted, you know, you're in a cinematic right. and yeah. then you're straight. That, like, or like the, the style one -er. Yeah, or like uh, Spider-Man, like the intro sequences where exactly. you start and that, the I cinematic. think the, the cinematics we are seeing are from the actual game, but they will transition smoothly into the actual game. Like when they walk into the thing, they bust, we get the hero shot and then the camera whoosh, flips around and then you're into the actual mission itself. Yeah, not, not to obviously talk about a, a different game, but it does remind me of like Final Fantasy VII Remake, which does have this seamless blend of beautiful high-end AAA budget uh, cutscene that seamlessly, stylishly spins the camera around and land to just before it transitions into gameplay. Exactly. So I'm seeing that more and more with things like God of War, Spider-Man, as you said. So that feels like a natural... Uh, segue for Rockstar to kind of do their own thing with, add their own cinematic flourish. So yeah, and I think we should expect that Rockstar has learned you know, what works with other games as well, given like we shouldn't just expect a more polished version of GTA 5 and even even Red Dead, which is obviously incredibly polished itself. I think they will take, you know, from the God of War and the other thing, like how can they make this more immersive, the most immersive Grand Theft Auto we've ever gotten. More immersive, and I think you do that by adding crowd density. I feel like that's something GTA has kind of lacked previously. And just looking at this still from the trailer alone, this beach is packed, and not only that, I think that there is a tendency in GTA 5 to, you know, drive down the street, walk down the street, and see NPCs that look similar. And mm -hmm. nothing takes you out of that more than seeing two identical-looking people that throw the same quip at you. So if this screenshot right here is any indicator, crowd density and crowd diversity is going to be something that sells that illusion of Vice City that I'm really hoping is not just something for the trailer that is indeed in the game. And also, I'd like to point out, we got jet skis here. <laughs> jet I think we're getting tight. all the water vision. Jet skis, <laughs> helicopters, you got a, a lifeguard truck, and it looks like I see a trailer lowering a boat in. So, But I think you raised a great point about the, um, the NPCs of it all. Because I think Rockstar was always ahead of its time when it came to creating a like living you know, virtual world. And I think what they do with the NPCs will really be a proving ground of of what they what they've brought new technology wise. I, I think there was rumors ages ago they were looking at AI tech to potentially you know bring life to a lot of the mm. NPC characters. And the fact that we got all that social media insanity in that trailer proves that they're they're probably going to go with a lot more NPC just chaos that can erupt at any given point more than we've seen from Red Dead or any of the other GTAs. Alan, how do you feel? I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I really, I think the, the social media aspect really like just makes the world feel more lived in. I'm, I'm really hoping that at some point, like, I mean, I'm, I'm very much a proponent for, hey, give us as much story as possible. That is the main way that I enjoy GTA games. So I'm hoping that at some point, like maybe like a tease at the beginning of the game, we get like maybe like a, a flash of like maybe Trevor like in the background of one of these things and people are gonna be going nuts. Like, oh my God, there he is. And again, this is just a, my pie in the sky, like what I would like to see. But I think that's like a really creative way to be able to, you know, lead into new narratives later on in the game and sort of like tease stuff before it even appears. Um, and <laughs> I, don't know if it, I don't know if it was just me, but uh, you, you know what, that super high res image, super high res image of like DJ Khaled that was like in GTA V, <laughs> when I saw, when I saw the clip of like the the woman like twerking on the car that's on the move that's all i could think of is like that gives me the same vibe it's like that dj khaled like incredibly high definition like i'm so excited to be able to go into photo mode in this game too because i'm sure it's going to look absolutely stunning uh, the fact that you brought dj khaled i can't wait to hear what kind of radio programming they've put together in this game you know how many how many radio stations are we getting like what's the density of like the length of those music what you know even from that song the the tom petty song you know, what licensed music are they gonna go to to really capture the vibe? That's that's always something that's really fun to explore uh, when we get to that point. But 
Do we just assume we're playing as both characters? Because, I mean, I mean, the only game that we've played multiple characters is GTA V, right? In any, right. And, and even in Red Dead. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> Without that uh, yeah, 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 no, no. Uh, <laughs> Shut up with everyone. an asterisk on um, there, an asterisk. Yeah, <laughs> but the fact that, you know, this, this is focused really from Lucia's point of view in the whole trailer. Maybe it is a single protagonist game. Theoretically, I, I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, but I mean, maybe that there's an argument to be made. We don't know what's going to happen. We assume since the last one we had multiple characters that we're like, okay, we're just going to focus on these two characters and we're going to flip between them. But if they're together the whole time, is it even worth? flipping between them when you could just be Lucia the whole time. I, I wonder if they're going to adopt some sort of mechanic where like maybe you play as Lucia and you'll be able to command uh, it's Jason, correct? Jason. Jason to be able to like do specific actions. So like similar to like what uh, Guardians of the Galaxy did uh, last year where you know you kind of you play as one character but you can tell uh, other characters what to do in real time with like quick action. So Jason is just the friendly companion along exactly. with the ride. So yeah I, I wouldn't mind that. I, I, I do also imagine they'll each have some sort of unique play style or special ability a la you know Trevor's Rampage, Franklin's ability to uh, this is, uh, uh, bullet time. Bullet time during cars? Yeah. And then what is Michael's again? Michael's was uh, improved it, shooting. Yeah, improved shooting. I Some, I, I forget. I, I probably butchered all of those. But <laughs> that said, they each had their own unique abilities that I'm sure Jason and Lucia are going to have something. Now, I am curious though. How do you guys feel about them going from three pro t or three playable characters to potentially only two? That feels like a weird, like, is that just a story thing? So I, I think the one of the biggest strengths of GTA V was the way that all the stories sort of weaved into each other. And you had, like, it really did feel like they were a, a group of, if not friends, at least acquaintances or, you know, associates that genuinely had uh, a, a reason to, to be around each other. And it wasn't just like, oh, hey, here's three random characters that are just happen to live in the same city. I think if we do end up being able to play both as Lucia and Jason, I think that gives us even more of a reason to be able to sort of explore the, their individual stories, like as, you know, this Bonnie and Clyde type situation, but then also in their own endeavors. And I, I do really hope that we get sort of like flashback scenes like we did at the beginning of GTA V to sort of understand the context of why she's even, you know, uh, getting released from jail at the beginning of the trailer and, you know, what sort of crimes they've been up to before the actual story that we're gonna see in this game. Yeah, like I'm not phased by the idea that, you know, we're going down to less playable characters because it all has to be story driven anyway. I mean, the only way, I mean, it could have been an absolute mess in GTA V if we were just uh, abs like switching from one character to the next. The whole idea was that story intertwined all those characters. This story is not clearly about that. Um, so that I'm, I'm fine with having less playable characters. I'm just looking to explore the world what will make that more enjoyable for me is how quick that fast travel is from point to point to point. Uh, obviously, you, I will do the, the adventuring and see the whole map my own time, but once that's done, I want to be able to get to point A to point B as quickly as I can, and fast travel is the only reason that I would be like, I need to switch to a character that's close to where I need to be. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, obviously, this is a very important day for us here at IGN. So while we're here just, you know, speculating, talking, and just overall chatting, our folks on the IGN social team have been hard at work getting uh, screenshots and stills that they think are of significant importance from the trailer. So if we can take my laptop feed here, we got a look at some of the stuff that we are posting on our social from our social team. Ben, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely got fired for leaving my <laughs> desk during this time. Uh, again, this... Uh, this is our Florida Keys shot. <laughs> this is our Florida Keys shot, or Beautiful. so I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by the Florida expert. Yeah, uh, one of the things that stands out, is that a blimp in the background that we see oh, over yeah, it here? It does kind of look like it, huh? Looks like a blimp. Uh, additionally, a biplane over here, cargo ship, and then as this is the Florida Keys, there's a lot of uh, fishing boats, small little... Um, uh, like, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> Tiny little fishing boats. There you go. Dingies. That's yeah, probably dinghies. Yeah. There you go. Um, but additionally, these 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 small little um, island marsh hybrids, along with uh, fabricated uh, bridges here. It looks like a bridge is in development. And it, when I look at this, uh, this is actually since I'm able to zoom in. This is the first time I actually saw this. This right here feels like ripe for a big GTA moment. That yeah, unfinished so bridge <laughs> that is precariously placed as a ramp that you can then potentially jump onto and then jump onto the other side. So 
Is this your getaway route for a big marquee mission? I'm calling my shot right now from the three-point line. This is your getaway from a very important mission. Additionally, I'm being told by my producer that this blimp is called Fat Albert. Oh. All right. Up in the Florida Keys. So Big Al. I believe that, is that the official name or is that the GTA <laughs> name for it? Well, that's just what the <laughs> That is Floridians the official name. It. So it's called Fat Albert in real life, which wow. I'm curious to see what the GTA name is. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what else we got here. Um, okay. Yeah, I think this kind of, this is just this is great because uh, uh, this is an action shot where we see Jason and Lucia kind of uh, spiraling out. But I want to take a look at the background behind them. Yeah, some weapon we shops. Right we got our go. weapon shops. Yeah. What was the uh, what was the weapon shop called in GTA 4? Uh, it, it's always like some clever name. So it is a little bit surprising that it's just called Pawn and Gun. But that said, Pawn and Gun. I don't think I ever see pawn shops that are just say the word gun. Oh, and ammunition. <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> ammunition. I am surprised we don't see the return of ammunition here. Maybe they don't have a, you know, like franchising in, in Florida yet. Maybe, mm, maybe, maybe, maybe you get to establish one as part of the game. If you could own a, a franchise of a gun store, that would be hilarious. I would really be into that. And next to it, we have Gun and Pawn. So is this, I, I think this is all just one building. Gun and Pawn and Pawn and Gun. There's, there's no way that these are two competing shops side I, by I, side. I really hope it's like a twin brothers kind of <laughs> thing where one of them did Pawn and Gun, the other did Gun and Pawn. Uh, we got our, our next screenshot here again. This is going back to what I was saying about the kind of influencer style uh, notoriety thing that I'm inventing right here and now that's probably not in the game, but we can only hope something like it is. But one thing like, is that Lucia with Jason driving? Looks so, like, like it, yeah. yeah. And we're seeing, her, seeing them in different outfits. Her first night of freedom out of jail. Potentially. And a night out on the town. And it looks like we have somebody here. Who's filming? <laughs> like photographing them? Maybe he's their personal cameraman? Could be. Who knows? <laughs> but also top down on the car, so convertible, ve convertible, convertible vehicles confirmed. <laughs> Very excited. Yep. Say that three times, Sykes. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I think that's it from this still. Let's see, we got some more oh, stills still here. Yeah, yeah. Again, customization. This looks like, you know, just interesting dudes. Uh, probably gonna do a mission, maybe some gang faction of some sort. Yeah, could be friends of the two. Now clearly very uh, Louis Vuitton inspired for this next clip. Wait, what's up? The very, very clearly Louis Vuitton inspired uh, bathing Just be suit. careful oh, yeah. on what you zoom in on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I almost zoomed in before yeah. I got in trouble. Our, our bosses are but, watching this. Uh, so they're, they're on the, f their fingers <laughs> on the fire button. <laughs> as also you were like, and let's just look at the background for a second. Everyone's like, just next picture, next picture. But, <laughs> but what else though? Like a rooftop party, is this just a, like a bull shot for the trailer or is, is taking part in these kind of nightclub, day club activities gonna be something that is important for Jason and Lucia to keep up the, any sort of notoriety. Maybe they need an alibi. They were spotted at this party during the day so that they can't get implicated with another crime. I don't know. I'm going a little bit off the deep end, just speculating and thinking You've here. But fully written GTA 6. <laughs> Rockstar, <laughs> hit me up. If not, let's put it in GTA 7. <laughs> no, perfect. And then, of course, There's we have our... Right here. We got to come up with a name for this guy. What's his name? Ben. G-string Terry. G-string Terry it is. Terry. Uh, one thing I didn't notice before. The visor? A, a, well, the visor I definitely noticed. <laughs> Above ground pool, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I hope, I nay, I pray I can puncture that standing pool so that all the water, I can watch all the water just tumble out. Oh, watch and, all those And re physics. relish in his pain. <laughs> all righty. I think this is just about it. Uh, as far as what we have from our stills, but I think let's watch that trailer just one more time. Just one more time. Might as well. So let's go ahead and get that queued up and then uh, we'll come back right after this. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Well, 
Look who's back. The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together, being a team. Trust? Trust. I still get chills, yeah. man. That looks incredible. Um, I, I think above all, one thing that stands out to me about Rockstar that impresses me so much with their work is just their sense of narrative and through line of that narrative. Seeing somebody, I mean, all of their GTA games are always about chasing the American dream. What does it mean to make it in this country? And I think that this game is going to be no different. We see a very new start for Lucia who is getting out of prison. So I think that's what I'm most excited about based on what we've seen today. But uh, gentlemen, any other final thoughts? Alan, starting with you. Uh, I will say it right now. I do not mind the 2025 release date. I, uh, w what's the quote? Uh, uh, early game can, or er, uh, a game that gets delayed uh, can be really is eventually good, good. Is eventually good. <laughs> but a yeah. bad game but a rush game is forever bad exactly that that quote i think uh is so so true uh and i think that you know th th we have seen we have seen occasions where like a game comes out and it's not in its best condition and then eventually it gets there but i feel like with a game that's been this anticipated a game that's been in development for you know 10 plus years at this point you cannot miss i don't believe rockstar will I, 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 that's why I am completely okay with the 2025 release date. I hope that it runs at 60. Uh, that is that is definitely my hope, and I hope that we get some sort of you know callbacks to to the other GTA titles that we've seen in the past. Um, I'm so excited to see what opportunities you can do uh, in this new area because it looks gorgeous, it looks so fun, and I can't wait to dive in. And just to piggyback off of that real quick, um, I was being—I just got told through to my uh, by my producer that this game does feature a, uh, I guess, overhauled or new engine. Um, so previously, I believe it was the Rage engine in GTA V. So whether or not this is an evolution of that physics system. Um, that 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 remains to be seen, but uh, this looks very different from what we've seen from GTA 5, certainly, and feels more in line with what we've seen as something uh, like Red Dead Redemption 2. But Ben, any final thoughts on this trailer? Yeah, like especially going off what you said, Alan, with 2025. You know, a game comes out when a game comes out. It's all up to the company. I think more in line, it's probably a great business decision. Now that we know that GTA 6 is on its way, that gives them a, a, a year and however long to sell more consoles because this is not coming out on old hardware and this needs to be the biggest game of all time and that's what they want. For me, I just want to see... I, the best part of any GTA game is exploring the world. The story is wonderful, but then it's the world that I'm playing in. Mm -hmm. And this trailer gives us tons of information about the kind of world we will get to explore so i cannot wait to see more more gameplay obviously we're going to get and that we're going to get drip fed that and all the way up until release but yeah it's real it's here and now we can get excited. We finally got a glimpse of uh, the, the footage we've been dying to see for a long time and just to share a final thought before we go like GTA 5 uh, you know, ignoring Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5 is a game that almost feels like a console unto it of itself. Like, it's a game that released in 2013, and still to this day, Rockstar is adding brand new features, new missions, uh, a la the uh, Dr. Dre mission, uh, that kind of served as sort of an epilogue to the original game. So, given Rockstar's relationship to not quite games as a service because I wouldn't quite exactly call GTA Online a game as a service style game, but it certainly feels like it's gotten that treatment in a way that no other game and I don't think any other developer can pull off in the way Rockstar has. So uh, given their, pre their pedigree and their track record, I for one am so stoked to see what comes from GTA 6. But unfortunately, that is just about all the time we have left for today. Alan, Ben. Thank you so much for joining me. We no. were sitting in our desk and they were just like, the trailer's <laughs> dropping, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Uh, but fortunately, just because a trailer premiere does not mean the action stops, head on over to IGN's YouTube channel to watch that trailer again. Also, we just launched a brand new Grand Theft Auto show called GTFM. This is literally a faux second episode. So, Akeem, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that it had to be like this. Uh, so if you need something to hold you over until the next time you get a look at GTA 6, check that out. 
Also, later this week, we've got even more IGN Live with our coverage of the Game Awards, which promises to be jam-packed with surprises and reveals. We'll do a whole countdown show before the event and a post-show recapping everything we saw, all the biggest trailers. Want some games to play right now? Our friends over at Humble Bundle are running a promotion all week long called the Best of Humble Bundle event. You can get a bunch of awesome games for super cheap. Each bundle only lasts 48 hours before it's gone. So head over to humblebundle.com and get there as fast as you possibly can. Oh, and you want even more? more? Well, good news, more. we got yes. you. IGN Plus is our exclusive program for IGN members where tons of awesome games and prizes are at your fingertips. Right now, we're giving away a super rare Armored Core 6 Xbox Series X along with a controller and carrying case. So go enter the contest now. And I would like to enter that contest. Am I allowed to? All righty, I'm being told that I am not. But for now, from all of us here at IGN and GTFM, Thanks for rocking with us and watch that brand new Grand Theft Auto trailer. You know what? Let's watch that one more time. So take it away. Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Who's back? The only way we're gonna get through this is by sticking together, being a team. Trust? Trust. <laughs> 